Yes, I wanted. Okay, I wanted to to、uh, mount a what do you call that? A kicker motor in the back of my boat on the right hand side.、Uh, what what you're seeing is my Instagram、uh, page. Uh, that's why you see this Instagram dot com on the top.、Um, I have this nice 1974 Air Slot 165 Sport Wellcraft with Johnson 90 horsepower、uh, boat, and um, I um, don't have a kicker motor, so I want to be able to mount a kicker motor on the right in the back of and on the right hand side of my boat. So that、um, I can do four things、uh, with this kicker motor.、Um, the first one is emergency start, just in case my big motor doesn't work. So I want to mount the、uh, Honda eight horsepower as a kicker motor for emergency purposes. The、uh, second purpose is I want to have this、um, small eight horsepower.、Um, As a kicker motor for trolling purposes, when I、um, have to go in the no wake zone, I like to be able to use my small、uh, eight horsepower outboard in the back of the boat to push my big boat forward instead of using my big ninety horsepower because my big ninety horsepower、um, eats and consume gas、um, big time. It can only push my boat. Uh, at two to three miles, so two and a half miles per gallon of gas, it will consume a gallon of gas, but only will push my boat to go forward for two and a half miles. But my、uh, little Honda A horsepower,、uh, it can easily push me forward for twelve miles, ten to twelve miles easily per gallon. So it will save a lot when I.、Uh, Have to go slow in the no wake zone in in DC, and also、um, when I、uh, go trolling at、uh, low speed, you know, two miles per hour to you know, say five six hours per mile、uh, for fishing. So that's the second purpose. The third purpose is、um, it will save gas, of course, you know. So. Cheaper to run the motor in the no wake zone, the kicker motor in the no wake zone for um, um, using the small outboard motor. And、uh, number four reason is um, it is um, I can't even remember. Anyway, laugh out loud. So I、uh, got a what's called the Gearlick Easy In Heavy Duty Outboard Motor. Uh, bracket,、um, as you can see here in the picture,、um, so that I can mount my outboard、uh, Honda outboard、uh, eight horsepower. And basically, the instructions is very easy.、Uh, it's basically telling us me that、um, you measure your motor from here, the end of the hook or the inside of the hook, to the Cavitation plate and my Honda A horsepower is a long, long shaft. So this distance is twenty inches. I don't even need to measure it. I know it's twenty inches. So I go to here, and they are basically saying from the top of this board to the bottom of this stick. Yeah. So you're gonna get a stick and you're gonna tape it to this this backboard here where you mount your outboard. Um, this distance is twenty inches minus two inches, so eighteen.、Um, this travel distance from table. So the table is saying, well, I have the seven one zero nine zero model instead of the seven one zero nine one model, and、uh, it can fit horsepower rating from seven and a half to thirty horsepower, and the maximum weight of the motor is one hundred sixty nine pounds. My motor is around one hundred pounds, so. It's a four-cycle Honda horsepower, so the vertical travel distance is nine and a half inches. So without subtracting the two inches from the twenty inches, I, we got twenty-nine and a half minus the two inches, which is twenty-seven and a half inches. And when you go down to see、uh, chart three or graph three, you will see the top of this board is actually just above your your boat, the top of your boat. 
the gunwale or the you know of the transom and uh, the bottom is just one inch above so I measured my boat the back of my boat and I placed with my friend's help placed this heavy-duty mount in the back of the boat and I um, was able to um, yeah you're supposed to have this 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 back of the bracket um, have a through screw or bolt four of them as you can see in chart number seven here graph number seven here and you have a lock washer or um, a lock knot to and a backing plate to, to lock it so that this this um, this transom will be in good uh, and and as you can see they want you to have a marine adhesive backing plate in the back in the inside of the boat to make sure the, the boat is uh, secured to this to this uh, transom so um, uh, as you can see here this is 27 and a half inches as we discussed or as I uh, mentioned before so basically this stick will uh, touch the water level you know as in this uh, chart 4 right uh, you know but in the back of the plate where there are actually six holes on each side so you're we're I'm supposed to mark the center holes for the top and bottom and also on the left and also on the right so four holes I'm supposed to uh, mark them and by the way they want you to drill three eighths of an inch holes um, drill four three eighths of an inch holes and um, I um, bought uh, what is it five sixteenths inches just slightly uh, smaller than the three eighths inches screws and I bought it for um, I think four inches long I think that should do the job even with this um, three quarters of an inch uh, backing plate or um, plywood in the in the inside I should be fine or on the outside I should be fine you know it's much easier to have this backing plate in the outside basically um, to spread the force of these four uh, pressure points or these four bolts these through bolts um, to spread the force over this bigger area instead of just concentrating in these four smaller um, holes area you know because this this heavy duty um, uh, garlic easy outboard mount will be uh, lifting the motor up and down you know so it's kind of like this chart number six here so um, you know where basically the transom is such that the motor cannot be properly trimmed make a wedge to place motor in uh, oh this it's saying you know you want this mount to be vertical you know and the capitation plate is parallel to the water level you know so um, I think that's what this is it's it's pretty simple the instructions is only two pages uh, a few graphs and uh, you know so I will proceed to mount that in a second I'll show you in in the video um, but basically this is the Honda a horsepower that I uh, picked up you can see the green light and it's a pull start it's a horsepower but it's four cycles so it's very fuel efficient um, let's see what else we have um, so what I'm saying is it's um, it's uh, a pretty good outboard um, as you can see here yeah the paint strip off a little bit but uh, you know it's a it's a the model of this outboard BF8A it's um, you know it's a pretty good a horsepower um, uh, rate to the outboard so that's uh, what we have um, for now thanks for uh, until I'll show you the video now how to mount the gate uh, garlic or garlic uh, uh, easy uh, auxiliary motor uh, mount okay.
It's through? Yeah. No, but is it through? Yeah, it's through. It's all the way through? Yeah. Okay. So we're mounting a uh, auxiliary motor. 516 inches. Something. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Gas? Yes. Yeah. No, it's fiberglass. 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 You go through it? Yeah, go all the way through. Don't stop. There we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Take